everyone welcome back to my channel this is jj and today i have another pick a card today i wanted to work with mother mary i feel like she had something to say to those who come across this video to start off we do have option one two and three all the same cards are there the same amount of cards for every single stack i just pulled different cover cards um, for each one so you can pick whichever one you feel drawn to there is no right or wrong way of doing this again you can listen to them all and see which one resonates or you can just go with your heart go with the one where your eye falls towards that will be the stack for you also uh, meanwhile to give you some time all my information is always listed in the description box below the timestamps are pinned in the comments section remember that all my videos are timeless including the ones with the transits they are always timeless there's always a message in every pick a card that we see we can always take something with us we can always integrate something in our lives I also want to give a huge shout out to a sister here on YouTube who does pick a cards as well. Um, she does astrology mostly, astrology weekly forecast, monthly forecast, energetic check-ins. Go check her out. Her name is Intuitive Visions Tarot. She is also an Instagram and um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I will list her information down below. Go show her some love, some support. She is amazing. I saw her pick a card that she just posted, I believe, a few hours ago, and it was amazing. Um, she helped me see something that I didn't really want it to accept within myself, and she made me realize that, and she, she's just amazing, you guys. Uh, honestly, just go check her out. Again, her name is Intuitive Visions Tarot. And um, she is an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So let's get started with the pick a card. Now, before we do that, sorry, a lot of people ask me, um, even if I don't work with Mother Mary, can I still listen to her messages? Can I still work with that deity? Yes, you can work with any deity. Sometimes deities will step in and out of your lives from time to time, depending on the journey that you are currently on. Um, you don't have to be... Uh, someone who prays to her or who works with her in order for you to receive this guidance it's open to anyone who is willing to listen and willing to integrate the message so let's get started so we're going to start with option one of course let's see what messages does mother mary wish to give you at this time on your journey I feel like you're having a hard time picking yourself up okay that is what i am picking up that is what i'm feeling i'm feeling like you're having you're, you're struggling at this time it's kind of like i need to pick me up i need someone to pick me up or i need something to motivate me again to get on my journey that is the energy that i am feeling okay um, a lot of you maybe you're you're not in a good time in your life and you're just waiting for things to move forward so we have number 38, Our Lady of Abundant to Garden. We have a new world is born, so something new is trying to come in. See, I, I, I feel like some of you, you know, you've been through something. You just ended something, and now something different is going to come for you. And Mother Mary really wants you to know that, you know, first of all, she's saying congratulations for your journey. You've done well. You've picked yourself up, you know, and if you haven't, you will soon pick yourself up. There's something beautiful coming in for you. Um there is this whole new world that you are about to step into it's going to be a, a cycle in your life where you're going to receive a lot of abundance i'm also hearing not only you receiving it but you also giving it and sharing it with people around you there is a lot of animal totems around you at this time and she is saying pay attention to the animals that are coming in for you i'm really drawn to the bird here i don't know their names you guys so if you do comment down below help other people out uh, but this red bird here i feel like again a lot of you're having a hard time picking yourselves up because you can't find the passion in things it's kind of like you've lost that passion that spark and she's saying it's gonna come back again okay do not worry it's kind of like you've been in this cave here okay in the dark night of the soul things have been a little bit difficult for you she's also saying you know be remember to be kind to yourself there's a lot of fertility you've also been seeing a lot of maybe um, frogs, toads, squirrels, 
any of these animals here i feel like you're working a lot with dragon energy so maybe you are someone who consciously works with this energy maybe you're not um if you're not aware for me dragons are all about creativity and ancient wisdom so there is a lot of animal totems who are stepping in at this time to help you with this transition okay yeah the situation is improving see so this confirms what i was feeling that some of you are having a hard time um getting through at this time but they really want you to know that there is abundance coming in um there's there's prosperity in every sense of that word and just know that things are improving even if it seems like they're not even if it seems like you're going through this dark night of the soul for some of you you are releasing with the toad here you're releasing you're purging um you're cleansing it's like you're having this rebirth and then once you go through that they want you to know that there is abundance waiting for you yeah the ace of swords or victory again you know the ace of swords is you have your sword in your hand how are you going to wield that sword you know how are you going to use it again we need to cut through the fogginess there's a lot of fog fogginess a lot of confusion and maybe that's why it's hard for you to see exactly where you are heading where you are going at this time or how things are going to turn out again this this to me is telling me that you know there's this energy of like i can't see i can't um give me a second I don't know where I'm going. It's kind of the energy that she's making me feel. And then we have ego, a falcon, focus, action, purpose, aspiration. So you're being called to focus. You're being called to even though you're you're going through this time of like I can't see where I'm going, where am I supposed to go? She's really saying I want you to center yourself and really focus on what you want at this time, okay? Because you have a new world and the ace is always a new beginning. There's a victory here for many of you. She's also saying you need to work with that fear of, of loss or lack here. She also wants you to know that everything dies in order for new things to come. And you're kind of going through that. You're letting things go. You're releasing the fear. Also, there's this thing about here about fear of abandonment of in relationships. There's this fear here about being left alone or by or always being alone. Or I'm never gonna find someone. And she's saying you have to let that go. Also, some of you are afraid. There's just fears, and I'm also hearing work. Fears of not being valued, whether this is in relationships and career. She's saying all these fears, what they're doing is preventing you from taking the next step. Also, they do want you to, and she does want you to know that the financial situation is improving and it's healing at this time. Abundance is really open to you now and is reaching out to you. Also, she has a special message. If you've been wondering if something will take off, if a business will take off, if a project will take off, would it flourish, will it thrive? The answer is a hell yeah, it will, okay? Yes, it will. But again, you need to let go of that which you're holding on to dearly. The sun is rising. Okay, they do want you to know that the sun is rising. You're about to soar. And you do not have to let fears hold you back. See beyond your limits. Have courage. She's also saying... She's also saying, remember that you didn't come into this world to be suppressed or trapped by fears it's important for you to remember that you did not come here to be weighed down by the details of your day-to-day -day, but to rise above them
see things from a higher perspective. Because if we go up the mountain, we're able to see everything with clarity. And again, they, she's saying have compassion. Compassion is important at this time. Don't be so hard on yourself. Honor yourself, she's saying. You need to reclaim your place in the world. You have learned to shape shift. Remember that. There's no further need for you to worry. Only to live well and in kindness and in serving others. This new world will be full of happiness, bliss, and contentment. She wants you to know that you are now free. So if you've been paying off debts, if you've been doing every any you know everything to unleash yourself from these things that were binding you or holding you back she wants you to know that you are freeing yourself from that that you do not have to worry and i feel like finances is a big thing for people who picked option one it's like maybe you were you know fixing your your um credit score or maybe you know, your loans or something of in that regard it's like maybe before you didn't make good chase whoa, whoa, whoa chasing okay you went chasing someone's chasing don't go chasing um maybe before you made bad you made bad choices and now you're kind of fixing them and she wants you to know that you will be free from them okay and abundance will come in for you that's very important for you to know so that is what she has for you now i'm gonna move to option two So for those of you who picked option two, let's see what Mother Mary has for you. Our Lady of Sacred Sisterhood. Okay, I feel like we're healing relationships. We're healing, especially with other females. Okay, I feel like maybe before in your life, she's saying that you've dealt with people who didn't, who were there for a while and then they just ghosted or they left. Especially females. Or maybe you're a female yourself. Passing on the wisdom. For some of you, there's a friend who is coming in. Who is passing you on the wisdom. Her wisdom onto you. I feel like there's more peace that's coming in for you. The owl, masked owl, insight, wisdom, foresight, messenger. I also feel like many of you are really working with your feminine side at this time, with your intuition. I feel like if you really take the time to listen, you will get the messages and the insights that you're seeking. I feel like that an oracle will come into your life. There's someone, there's a female, or it doesn't have to be since this is a general reading. It could be a male as well, who's coming in, who's very intuitive, who can give you some type of foresight about something. It's giving you a message. And I feel like Mother Mary is really working with you hand in hand, and she's showing you owls at this time. So you might be seeing a lot of owls. That's just her way of saying, you know, I'm with you, I'm listening to your prayers. You're able to see through the dark at this time, like owls, right? Owls can see, they're nocturnal, they can see through the dark. You are unlike anyone else. Others of you may be seeing butterflies, maybe seeing toads, frogs. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. So I feel like Again, many of you are dealing with 
this issue about being abandoned in a relationship or friendships and it I kind of feel like you took it within yourself you took it internally you were like what was wrong with me maybe I need to change maybe I'm the weirdo maybe you know I don't know maybe I'm different or maybe I'm not a good friend and she really wants you to know that that's not true it's just that you haven't met the right person but I feel like the right friend the right person is coming to you at this time and she wants you to let go of all these ideas that you have that you can't make friends or that you're not good enough or that you are different or that you are weird she wants you to embrace that because she wants you to be open to that new friendship that is coming into your life at this time this person might have green eyes green or bluish eyes okay or this person might really like owls like a lot might have owls in their house uh, might uh i just heard own an owl I, I don't know a lot of people who own owls but this is someone who really loves owls or works with owl medicine Yes, Mother Mary, she's, she's saying she's bringing someone in and she is manifesting in a flesh in order to give you something. Because I feel like for you, the only way for you to get a message is through a person. So really be aware of what this person will tell you. This person will be very warm, will love to hug. It's she She will become or she will feel like your dearest friend. You will smell the scent of rose. I am smelling roses. Or you might see a lot of roses. She's saying, I'm bringing you someone that you can love. And in return, you can be loved. Someone who, in which you will be able to speak. You will be listened to. You will be heard. That is what she's saying. I'm trying to see if she's saying anything else. You have to let go of your fear of loving or letting people in. Okay? That is coming through very strongly. This person that is coming in is going to help you to connect with your divine feminine. With that, that intuitive side of you. They will also help you heal the relationship wounds, not only with other people, but also within your emotions and within your body. Also around the turn, also around the topic of sexuality and how you eat. Sometimes you have people who chose this group. She's saying you have this period of where you eat, 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 eat all the time. Like you're just really hungry. And then you go through periods where you're just like, okay, I'll just eat a little sandwich and you're good with that for the whole day. So you go through this fluctuations of eating or your eating habits are not good. And she's saying that all of this is stemming from all this, um, of I'm, I'm not good enough right yeah she's saying this most likely will be a woman it could also be a male she's saying with a strong connection to the divine feminine this is someone that means that this will be someone who is in touch with his values with his feelings with his creativity and has this compassionate wisdom for some of you this will be taken as a love relationship for others of you this will be solely friendship okay for some of you, this could just be like a therapist. It could be like a colleague, a neighbor, or even a client or a random person who you see in the market and will and will tell you something that will spark something and you will start to see things in a different way. You have to take a risk though with being vulnerable. Um, it's okay. You have to be okay and, and know that it, most likely in relationships we're always going to experience hurt and loss it's the way it is you're being encouraged at this time she's saying to accept this relationship they're trying to bring in light into your world through this new relationship and it can happen for you now 
if you've been praying to heal relationships or solve something in a relationship that you're currently with someone or a friend she's saying that that healing is on its way to you she has heard your prayer and that prayer of healing is happening she's asking you to be brave at this time to not pull away from the relationship be present and open to it you are being protected she's asking you to trust her and to trust this person that is coming in for you she's saying there's so much love in this world for you you just have to be open to receiving it and it's happening very very soon okay i feel like this person again is someone who is very like high priestess energy here let's look at your other cards that was all channeled king of pentacles this is someone who is stable king of pentacles this could be a female or male remember we were saying so again that confirms the channeled information that this could be a male as well this is someone the king of pentacles to me when we're talking about friendships or relationships this is someone who is stable someone who is here to stay someone who will be with you through thick and thin someone who has a good head over their shoulders uh, for some of you this is someone who's very grounded okay and very mature about their approach and they don't they're not in and out of people's lives. The King of Pentacles is someone who will stick with you for a long time. For some of you, the person that is coming in is definitely an earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person, again, is very spiritual, right? Very, like, uh, connected to their divinity and to higher source. Within a couple of months, we have months here. So within a couple of months, this is coming in for you. Maybe during Virgo season, since it's the next following Earth sign um, that's coming up. She wants you to know that you are like nobody else. There's a lot of confusion about who you are. And she's saying, yes, people who have been very close to you may have drawn away. Or you may be felt betrayed by these people in the past. And it might have told you, like, we're leaving because, you know, you're different or... She's saying, refuse to be labeled. Create your own style, your own look, your own identity. She's saying, do not give up on relationships. Because someone stable is coming in. And it's just right around the corner, you guys. So that is beautiful. I wish you guys the best. This was all her channeled information. And now I'm going to move on to option number three. So those of you who picked option number three, what does Mother Mary want you to know at this time? Our Lady of Innocence. She wants you to reconnect with your heart. She wants you to know that everything is going to be okay. She's saying feel the peace. Air, thought, alignment, breath, intention. I feel like some of you, if you pick this pile, you tend to hold your breath a lot. Some of you need to be writing. I feel like she communicates with you through writing. I feel like she wants you to go back within in order to align yourself with your thoughts, with your breath, and with your intentions. Because I feel like you've lost 
sight of your intention or you lost yourself on your path in some way and she wants you to reconnect and she's saying it's simple it's by you taking some time closing your eyes and taking a deep breath inhale and exhale for some of you you should be doing automatic writing for others of you i feel like there is this this creative project that you want to do I feel like she's saying you've gotten out of the flow of things and she's trying again to bring you back into the flow of things, to bring you back into alignment. She's saying your wish to serve the world will happen. Also, there's something about a degree. I don't know if someone is studying to do something, but she's saying that degree is going to happen for you. She's saying you're holding yourself back. You're hiding parts of yourself from others. There's something here about putting on an act to show a particular face, to be a certain way in order to be acceptable. You've lost, you've lost touch with who you are. She's saying it's time to reconnect with that, to reconnect with the true essence of you. And she's saying you may, be, you, you may not even be aware of this. She's saying it's time to let go of shame and guilt and reveal yourself for who you are. Hold compassion for the mistakes that you have made in your life. You need to step into a place of self-acceptance. She's saying if you want to take a further step on your path, branch out through self-expression. Act on these new opportunities that are being presented to you. She's saying for someone, consider that new relationship. She's also wanting you to know that you are worthy. You do not have to fall into that fear that you are not enough. There's nothing to hide. Don't be afraid of being judged. I feel like for some of you, maybe you write, you do something creative, but you don't want to put it out there because you have a fear of being judged, of being ridiculed. And she's saying no. It's time to let that go. Feel good about who you are and your journey. Some of you want to write a book about your journey so far, but you're afraid people will judge you that journey. It's time for you to embrace all the mistakes that you have made. You have to remember that those mistakes have, have helped you grow, grow into the person that you are today. It's also important for you to know that spirit is not holding nothing against you. They love you for everything that you are. And they're saying you now have permission to do the same for yourself and love yourself for who you are completely. Let's look at the rest of your cards. That was the channeled information from that particular card right there. Three of Swords. Yes, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of hurt here. A lot of hurt. It's time for you to move forward. See, move forward. Even if you feel the pain, it's time for you to take action and leave that pain behind you. Some of you may be worried or anxious. But the Three of Swords, remember, is sword. So to me, it's also all about other people's opinions. You're taking other people's opinions 
at heart and she's saying you have to let them go maybe this is opinions or ideas from other people way when you were younger but you're still holding on to them subconsciously and what that is doing is preventing you from moving forward see you have to walk this horse is walking in water there's a lot of emotional turmoil here and you're being asked to rise above that see this horse is looking up keep your chin up self-care again it's time for you to, to step inwards to listen to your heart what is your heart telling you at this time There's a sorrow here, a separation. Some of you have to separate from tox toxic family members or relatives. Spirit is saying this might be temporary. It's, it's, it's something that you have to do in order for you to gain perspective. For some of you, what, what you're writing about or what you want to write about or what you're expressing in poetry, paint, or any type of creative endeavor is, is family pain, is issues that happened in your family. This is a deep attachment, okay? A deep dependency, a deep wound. And it's time for you to release that. It's time for you to release expectations about other people. You have to let other people make their way in the world and you have to focus on your, your path and your path only. We can't make everyone happy. She really wants you to know that. We can't satisfy everyone. So you have to focus on yourself and make yourself happy. Even if other people, even if family, even if your loved one or whoever this is, these other people are, even if they get disappointed, even if they get sad, it's okay. I also feel like she's saying you have to put firm boundaries with family. I'm really feeling there's this energy here that family is very dependent on you, okay? You, the viewer. To the point that it's gotten in the way of your creative endeavors, in the way of your passions, in the way of, your, of living your life. It's time to put yourself first. It's time to set boundaries with these, um, with these friends, with these family members, with these people. You have to let them make their own mistakes. You have to let them live their own life. You can't let them be dependent on you. It's time for you to leave this situation. Yeah, because there's a codependency here and it's not healthy. It's a difficult choice that you will need to make, but she's saying it will resolve the issue. May, not making or staying in this indecisive energy will continue to give that lack of satisfaction. There's a lot of potential for you right now. But it's time for you to cut the cords with these people. It's not a it's not a time for you to bury to bury good ideas, like bury them. It's time for you to go after them. It's time for you to go after those goals and those ideas so they can actually be you know accomplished it's time for you to listen to that inner voice and act upon its message there's also a, a, a thing here that she's saying um carefully evaluate who you are dealing with in this situation you know are you are you following someone else's agenda or are you following your own agenda because if you're following someone else's agenda, you're never you're, you're never going to be satisfied. 
because you're not doing what you want to do. It's time for mental harmony to come in. And it's time for you to separate yourself. So this is what I have for you guys. That was a channeled message that came through from Mother Mary. I hope this was helpful. I wish you guys the best. Go check out my friend, Intuitive Visions Tarot. She is a fellow YouTuber here. Um, she is also in Instagram and Twitter and in Facebook. I will list all her information down in the description box below. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Bye.